haven't said which book you want to be responsible for. Maybe Persuasion? Because I'm increasingly drawn to its elegiac tone. Don't think I'm doing the book club. You're doing it. Mansfield Park? Pride and Prejudice? Emma? Persuasion? Six people will each be responsible for one book. All Jane Austen, all the time. The members of the Jane Austen Book Club. We're going to go to Paris. My husband and I. Are hopeful about love. Send me a postcard. Paris is off. But helpless. I haven't seen a woman at work. When it comes to relationships. Do you think he has a brain tumor? I think he fell in love. Oh, well, I'm rooting for the brain tumor. I sort of invited someone, said he might come, maybe. Is this the order that we read them in? They're not sequels. Emma and Mr. Knightley, you just never feel the sex. Austin's all about keeping it zipped. I could use a little encounter in the woods with Mr. Darcy right now. So what'd you think about Greg? How about those dreamy eyes? And he really knows. <laughs> You're such an Emma. You'd love to pair up the whole world. That's a great dress. Dean thinks Austin is the capital of Texas. <laughs> Maybe high school's over. High school's never over. You can't read these novels without wondering if she doesn't have a little thing for the naughty boys. Well, who doesn't? Oh, he looks at me like he's the spoon and I'm the dish of ice cream. <sighs> to survive romance in the modern world. Isn't physical attraction one of the ungovernable forces? At least the brakes. <laughs> they'll have to ask themselves one question. I thought these shoes just don't suit me. This is what, this is a rule book? We could do worse. Reading Jane is a freaking minefield. Are we all up for a little romance? You ready? Some new shoes on and everybody's... The Jane Austen Book Club. It's the perfect antidote. To what? To life!